So a few months ago, I introduced you guys to Buckshot, a female juvenile red-tailed hawk that I was using as a falconry bird. For those of you who are new here, falconry is whenever you take birds of prey and you train them to hunt with. But Buckshot was no ordinary falconry bird. She actually started out as a rehab patient at my center. Ironically enough, I'm actually the one who brought her to the rehab center after I found her on the side of the road on the way there. Once we caught her and got her back to the center and did an exam, we unfortunately found out she had been shot and that injury had left her unable to fly. But through a lot of hard work, we got her back healthy again, but unfortunately throughout her rehab process, she had lost a lot of muscle and was not going to be able to be released until she got that muscle back. Thankfully for her, falconry is one of the best ways for a bird of prey to be able to gain muscle. So after she had healed up, over the next few months, she was able to go out, fly, and chase game with me as a safety net underneath her, so that whenever she wasn't successful in the beginning, she still was able to come back and get a meal. But as she gained that muscle, she was actually able to secure a lot of squirrels and become a fantastic hunter again. But now that she is back in tip-top shape, that journey has come to an end, and it's time for her to go back to the wild. Is this evil monster that can say, "Wow, this beautiful bird, I don't really have to be as worried about as I thought I would. Tyler Wright works to educate the public about wild animals through his role as Black Creek Wildlife Center co-director. And then, you know, that appreciation starts from there and then they want to help and protect those animals as well. Animals like Buckshot, a red-tailed hawk who Wright has been working with for over a year after finding her with a damaged wing near a Bishopville farm. Likely she got shot because they had chickens and there's a lot of stigmatisms with red-tailed hawks around chickens hey, boy, come uh, and they tried to take her out which is unfortunately federally illegal but thankfully we got to her in time so that we could rehab her and now get her released back to the wild. Wright has been rehabilitating Buckshot helping her build muscle in her wing and making sure she can thrive back in the wild on her own. Now she's ready for freedom. Good girl. Up. It's kind of a sweet and sour moment. You put all that effort into them and you really appreciate having that connection, helping a wild animal get back out into the wild. Um, but I can relish in the fact knowing that we did everything humanly possible to make sure she has the best chance possible once she takes off in the woods today. Wright says the effort is twofold. It helps the ecosystem thrive in the area, and it also provides an opportunity to teach the community about protecting wildlife. It's important to help people understand this because we are grown up and taught things that can be completely wrong about wildlife uh, from our parents, from our grandparents. And then when you finally learn that that's not the case, it kind of opens up a whole new world. Reporting in Bishopville, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX.